Monk, your books are good, but they're not popular. Editors, they want a black book. They have a black book. I'm black, and it's my book. You know what I mean. I tend to sort of lean into the discomfort with art. So I had been looking for something to direct about the racial politics of being a black artist in the world. I just want to rub their noses in it. <laughs> and toe the line between satire and farce. I be standing outside in the night. Deadbeat dads, rappers, crack. You said you wanted black stuff. That's black, right? I see what you're doing. It's a pretty rare film that's dealing with some super relevant age-old themes, along with a deep thread of comedy and irony running through it. Is this based on your actual life? Yeah, you think some bitch-ass college boy can come up with that shit? No, 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 I don't. I thought it was really funny, and it creates such a riveting conversation. Cord has a real point of view which I think is the key to being a great director. For it to be his first film, he's done an excellent job creating this story. That's brilliant and hysterical. It's like, dude, you sure you've never done this before? He's kind, he's smart, good looking, <laughs> and he can write and direct. I mean, who could ask for anything more? People want to love you, Monk. You should let them love all of you. To be on a set with all of these people around who I grew up admiring and have them trust me and support me in this process, I'm forever grateful for that. If somebody can walk away and say that this caused me to think about my own life and my own politics and also to have a good time, I will be pleased at the end of the day. They're offering $4 million for the movie rights. Yes! The dumber I behave, the richer I get. We're thinking we can get it out in time for Juneteenth. Yeah, I'm rolling. Cut.